Hey, Professor McCoy here. Now that I have a drum part that I'm I'm good with, I'm going to find something to help crescendo or build energy or a riser into the hook or the chorus. So there's a few ways you could find a riser. I'm gonna try the Apple Loops. You could also record these and build these yourselves. I'm gonna press O, make sure I have all loops on, all instruments. I'm gonna type in riser and try to listen to a few different risers. You get one that works. You can also shorten the riser. You can also type in symbols. If you do a symbol swell, you can see how this ends here. Now you need some kind of a usually want like a deeper crash. I might even have two crashes. You can also add a crash here. You can have a crash here. Press I for the inspector tool. More and reverse it. Line that up. And so when you play, it does a reverse cymbal crash. You want to edit your audio a little bit. You press A for automations. So these cymbal crashes are a little bit too strong. Just bring these down. I want this to crescendo. So I just literally click points and drag. So this is part of the mixing process, just getting your levels where you hear everything clearly. The verse in the chorus is most of your song. We've labeled each verse and each chorus. So now we can literally copy and paste each verse and chorus into their respective places. You hold down option and click and drag to where you want your verse to happen again. Now we're going to just rename this verse 2. Same thing, hold down option, click it, and let go. Now we have our second chorus. Do the same thing again here. We'll rename it 3 so we can keep track where we're at. And I rename my verses one, two, and three because your verse has different lyrics and it's good for your singer to know which verse we're singing. This I want to be the bridge. Now a bridge is just totally different music in a sense that still goes along with your current song. The bridge is to help the listener hear something new before we go back into our last chorus. So this music's gonna be different, so I'm gonna record a bass, a harmony, and a melody that's totally different than what we used before. First, I'm gonna do some chords. I find it easy to start with some chords first, and then you can always build or change your chords after you've added the other parts of the music. Since we're in C minor, I'm going to take this spot in E flat major, which is the relative key. Same flats, just you start on E flat first. So I kind of like these first four chords I did. I was going to try to do more, but I just wasn't feeling it. Click here, Command A, quantize to the one and two eighth note. I like that. I'm going to double it, which is a loop. 
Next, I'm going to do a baseline. I'm going to drag this bass up here so I can keep track of it. Bass is going to be on the lower register of my keyboard. So I improvised the bass part, command A, quantize. So I missed a note on the very beat, beat one. I could use the pencil tool and just literally write notes. Command Z to undo. Now I'm thinking of a synth lead part. I'm gonna record. So I quantize to the sixteenth note. Now I'm going to copy some of my risers. Hold shift to select both of these. Hold down Option, press E. I'm going to add drums. You could press the plus button, automatically adds its own AI bridge drums. So if I want my drums to be louder, I left click, I'm gonna to convert to MIDI regions, which is also Control, Option, Command, M. So I had claps. So I like the claps all to be louder. So I can right click the claps, same note name, and make the velocity higher. So now all of the clap. And finally I need to repeat the chorus again. I will hold down option, click and drag. Now these markers I don't need anymore. And I think I'll just copy my intro to be my outro. Hold down option. Change his name to outro. Okay, then I'd listen to my track. Try to mix the volumes. Arrange any of the sounds to my liking. And try to get this ready for a vocalist to sing on top of this. So I'll listen to the track a few times. This is part of the mixing process where I check the levels. You press A for automations, and I'd listen to see if something is covering up another voice that I don't want to be covered up. I don't want the drums to be too loud. I want my verses to be a little bit softer. I want the choruses to probably be the loudest sections. And then you can go through an EQ, but I'm just trying to get a rough demo mix. So, the vocal parts could come in and have something to sing to. Once you have the vocals, you might have to really edit your instruments a lot, bring a lot of things down, so that way your vocals come across. Now, originally I wanted this tempo to be a lot faster. I'm gonna bump it up and see if I like that sound. So. Thank you.
This would be ready now to get a demo for the vocals, and then you would mix and master it in more detail. These are the basics. You need to start learning first, and then from there, you keep going.